Um, the, the intensity of protests have escalated since 2004 as municipalities have started to decline um, in terms of their s service delivery provisions. Most of South Africa's municipalities are failing. This is what we at the Center for Risk Analysis revealed in a recent report entitled Municipal Malaise. This is part of our series of monthly reports available exclusively to clients of the CRA. We also hosted a webinar where we unpacked some of the analysis in this report. What follows is a short extract from this webinar featuring our Deputy Head of Research, Gabran van Heerden. Enjoy. Now, citizens, uh, or, or rather South Africans, have responded in various ways to a collapse in the municipal sector. Um, we have, there have been a number of high profile cases of citizens and businesses taking matters into their own hands, uh, essentially doing the job of municipalities. Um, for ex I, I've just briefly listed a few examples. We had the Harry Smith Water Heroes who have uh, they're a civil society organization that was established in Harry Smith in order to fix the water and sewage infrastructure in that town that was essentially collapsing due to years and years of neglect by the local government there. Um, we have Team Pompin, which has um, recently uh, uh, reconstructed or rebuilt bridges that collapsed during the KwaZulu-Natal floods, uh, once again, because the Itikwini uh, Metropolitan Municipality has neglected for months and months to rebuild those vital bridges that thousands and thousands of people use every day. We've had the Panorama Residents Association that has recently um, spent 10,000 Rand um, out of their own pocket in order to improve um, road infrastructure in Johannesburg. And we've also seen big businesses step up. Um, Discovery and Dial Direct, for example, has recently announced that they are partnering with the city of Johannesburg in order to fill potholes and to improve road infrastructure as well. Now, residents are also airing their grievances at the ballot, at the voter ballot. And what our report has shown is that uh, the municipalities that, 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 that perform the worst in terms of financial sustainability and in terms of service delivery, um, they are mostly ANC controlled municipalities. And the ANC has therefore been punished severely in the last few municipal elections, as we can see from this uh, green line, declining steadily since 2006. This green line represents the ANC. All the other lines that you see pop up here are opposition parties who've seen their collective share um, increase steadily since 2006, as people have started changing their political allegiances in order to, or uh, uh, hoping that that uh, that will lead to an improvement in, in service delivery. But of course, people are also airing their grievances in other ways. And we've seen that with um, uh, the rise in protests, especially in the rise of violent protests. Um, the, the intensity of protests have escalated since 2004 as municipalities have started to decline um, in terms of their s service delivery provisions, in terms of their infrastructure and their employment opportunities and economic opportunities. Um, and, the, and, and the following graph also illustrates that where um, service delivery protest in particular has really, really escalated um, since 2004. In fact, the total number of service delivery protests in 2019 far eclipses the 
collective share of service delivery protests for 2004 up until 2008. And that just shows how unhappy people are um, in, the, in the last few years. There has been a drastic decline in 2020 and 2021, but that's mainly attributed to the COVID-19 pandemic and, the, and the, the lockdowns that have essentially curbed um, mass gatherings for extended periods of time. Now, there are a few key risks that I would like you to take away from this. Firstly, um, many municipalities are being financially mismanaged to a point where they are unable to find the resources or the funds to deliver services adequately. Uh, businesses and private citizens have, have of course stepped in to, um, to fill that gap, to literally fill potholes um, and, and do the job of local governments. Um, however, that's also, that also can be uh, a problem, especially in the current socioeconomic environment that we are in. South Africa is not growing economically. Uh, investment is drying up in the country. We have, we're seeing a rise in cost of living and inflation. And that's really putting a lot of pressure on consumers and small businesses in particular. Now, when small businesses and uh, under pressure consumers have to incur additional costs in order to provide services, um, that's going to place a lot of further financial pressure on, uh, on, on South Africans, something that they cannot afford in the current climate. Um, in some other cases, uh, some businesses will simply abandon failing, failing municipalities. We've seen some high profile cases in, last, in the last few years. Uh, uh, Clover in Lichtenberg, for example. Um, Clover was the biggest employer there in Clover, uh, uh, in Lichtenberg, sorry. And because of um, years of municipal neglect, Clover was finding it very difficult to operate effectively in, in Lichtenberg. And so essentially they just closed up shop and they moved down to Durban, taking um, um, the, a lot of jobs with them. And that's what's going to happen more and more in many municipalities. We're going to see lots of big employers who can afford to do so, uh, simply close up shop, move overseas or move to better performing provinces. And that's going to have dire economic consequences for um, South Africans in those rural municipalities. Um, we're also going to see increased social instability, uh, increased social instability as um, people are not getting essential services such as electricity, water, uh, and sanitation facilities. And as unemployment continues to skyrocket because businesses are withdrawing from poor performing municipalities, um, we can expect as long as, as long as municipal or local government fails, um, we can expect um, the intensity of, of protest to escalate. Thanks for watching this extract from our exclusive client webinar. If you would like to be invited to future webinars hosted by us at the Center for Risk Analysis, you are welcome to join us as a client of the CRA. There is a link in the description below where you can find out more information. And alternatively, if you would like to access the full recordings of these webinars, you can become a member of this channel. My name is David Ansara. This is the CRA. Until next time, take care.